Hello, fellow plant enthusiasts. So I had a begonia taconite and unfortunately it died, but I did have when I was transplanting it before I put it in the pot and it wasn't too happy, which I'm not sure why, but I did have a broken leaf and I stuck it in the sundew terrarium, at least one of my sundew terrariums. And you can see that it has a little plantlet, so at least I don't totally am void of taconites, but I still have a small little tiny begonia taconite seedling. So now I want to show you how to get tiny seedlings from your broken leaves. It is starting to rain. There's a thunderstorm coming and I hope I get this recorded before it pours heavily. But I have this broken leaf of my begonia pavonina. And when you look online, typically, you propagate them via begonia or via, via stem cutting. So you'll cut the stem with a few leaves. But I'm going to propagate this according to the way I propagated the taconite. I'm going to take that leaf. So I'm going to cut this leaf. And I have a jar and I put long fibrous sphagnum with a little water. I don't want to let this sit in water. And a lot of begonias, depending on the kind, not cane begonias, you can propagate from leaves. So I'm just going to throw a few cuttings in here. Whoops. And just let it sit in humidity. So the long fibrous sphagnum is basically to retain moisture without having these leaves sitting in the water. So I'm going to cut that down there because I believe that's how people propagate begonia leaves, or from what I've seen online. And I'm just gonna set these in here, put the lid, put it somewhere bright, and check back on my channel in a few weeks, and if I'm successful, I'll show a video on it. But I need to get out the rain, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to uh, keep tabs on my upcoming videos on this channel. Thanks for watching and happy planting.